the energy today is great. However, the fine print is how well it goes all comes down to how positive you stay in here. Hey everyone, I'm Ashleen Caino from the My Best Self Project and welcome to your daily Tyroscope forecast for Friday, the 20th of July. So let's have a look at the cards and see what's going on today. We have the Nine of Air, the Ten of Water, and the world, yeah! Okay, so a quick overview of the energy for today. Today is about you staying aligned with positivity and as a result, having a really good time emotionally and just feeling content and complete. It's as simple as that. Happy dance, whoop whoop! So let's dig in. The nine of air, it says expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless nights. So this is saying that perhaps you've been leaning into the negative, worrying yourself. And what this is really saying is the more that you're worrying about things and putting all that energy into that, the more you're creating that. And I think it really sums it up in this card when it says self-fulfilling prophecy. The more you sit there and think about a fear or worry about something, it's you fueling it and making it grow by that energy and intention that you're unintentionally putting into it. So this card is letting you know it is of vital importance today to keep your thoughts and your energy as positive as possible because this is what is going to dictate how your day goes. Now with that information in mind, we have the 10 of water here and I believe this is showing you the potential of how your day can go if you stay aligned to the positivity. It says, a contented and rewarding family life, your emotional and material needs are met, trustworthy relationships. So this is a card of feeling totally complete when it comes to your mental and emotional life, when it comes to your family life and the people you have around you just feel feeling good, having a good time, a time to celebrate. Life is wonderful. And that's what it's saying here. Like it's just totally great. And it really all comes down to you leaning out of the negative and you leaning out of the what ifs and the worry and just saying, fuck it. Like, let's think about what's the best that can happen here and lean into that and start dreaming big and being positive and aligning yourself and being grateful for what you already have. Whenever you're grateful for what you have in your life, that is just going to snowball. And it's just just going to bring more and more greatness and good things into your life to be grateful. So it just keeps going. <laughs> and then we have the world, a job well done, contentment, joy, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. So this is about things coming into completion, coming full circle, you just feeling wonderful and complete and content. But I think the extra thing that's coming out with the point of this card is it's saying a job well done for you really being able to stay conscious of your emotions, your vibration and your thought and saying, look what you can do. You are more than capable of staying this way. You're more than capable of keeping that awareness and keeping the control over your thoughts and your emotions and not giving into the negativity. And when you find those moments when you get negative, looking for something to be grateful and feel positive about. And that's where it's saying here, the path towards enlightenment and really feeling like, wow, Look what I did. I did what I thought I couldn't really do. Because I see so many of you comment on these videos saying, oh, I just wish, or life's so hard, or I can't get out of my funk. And it's like that right there is admitting defeat. It's saying you can't get out of it. So what this is saying here is that's you being your self-fulfilling prophecy because you're literally speaking that truth into existence. You're saying you can't. So what you need to start saying is I can get out of my funk. I can do this and start putting the energy into focusing on getting yourself out of it rather than being focusing on how stuck you are in this. And that is the whole point of this coming full circle. This is all about you getting out of your funk, getting out of the negativity, getting out of the negative vibrations and all of that and saying, okay, let's put this energy into thinking positively, into vibrating positively, into giving gratitude for what I have and for being solution orientated and making the effort to actually fix things and look for those solutions rather than just hoping and praying for a miracle, but at the same time vibrating the negative vibes that will never attract that miracle to you. What attracts it is the positive vibes and being aligned to the gratitude and positivity.
Yay! I love it. <laughs> okay, you guys, do you resonate with this? I would love to know. When I saw these cards, I was just so happy because I feel like, yes, there is so much we can accomplish today with this energy. There's a lot of things we can attract to us and we can really prove a huge point to ourselves that we are way stronger than we think. So let me know what you think about this and are you up for the challenge? Comment below. I'm up for the challenge. I can do this. Alrighty, so our angel message of the day, workshops and seminars. So this is so about today is a lesson. Today is your classroom in the school of life, <laughs> in the school of your life. It's saying attending and giving speeches as part of your spiritual path and purpose, be open to teaching and learning. Now, I don't feel like this is telling you to go off and do a workshop and seminar today. Perhaps some of you are doing that, but I feel like what it's saying is this is a big lesson for you. So be open to the teaching and be open to the learning and be open to implementing what you learn because you hear that knowledge is power, but actually what is real power is implementing and taking action from that knowledge, okay? Big difference, okay? So knowledge is actually potential power, to quote Tony Robbins, which is interesting, I'm thinking about him when there's a card about workshops and seminars. Maybe some of you need to go listen to some Tony Robbins today. Look him up on YouTube, or if you have Netflix, check out his um, documentary called I Am Not Your Guru. It is absolutely eye-opening and life-changing. In fact, guys, this card is telling you, go watch that today, okay? Get some Tony Robbins in your life. Even start your day with it, even a 10 minute video by him to shift your energy right away from this negativity straight into the positive. And then our affirmation for the day, I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you universe for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Once again, we're getting reinforced here that this is all a lesson and it's about you passing the test are you going to put into practice all this stuff you're learning and rise to it? Yes, you can. And yes, you will. So it's saying you're witnessing the darkness right now, okay? And you're not going to get sucked into it. You're going to call on the light and you're going to say thank you to the universe for being your teacher and helping you grow and get stronger. Boom! Mic drop! Okay, you guys, I absolutely love this reading. I'm so excited for today. If you liked it too, please like, share, tag a friend, or subscribe. And I look forward to bringing your tarot tomorrow. Bye.